In the year of our Lord, 2009, I say it is time to call Jackson home, to commit ourselves to not only taking back our streets, but fixing our streets, to not only removing blighted housing, but restoring our neighborhoods with rehabilitated and new housing, to not only building new schools, but building new students who are ready, willing, and eager to learn to achieve, to succeed, to not only making Jackson a place where people want to come, but eliminating the conditions in our neighborhoods and communities that make them places people are afraid to go, to not only creating decent jobs, but making sure we have a trained workforce that is capable of filling those jobs, to not only providing incentives for big business, but to rolling out the red carpet for small businesses to not only developing zero tolerance for crime in our streets and homes and businesses, but eliminating the root causes of crimes of economics and crimes of passion. Here. You know, we in Jackson are a family. What happens with people living in Washington, Washington addition affects the people living in Eastover. As in any family, there are good times when we come together in jubilation. And there are times we come together when things aren't so good. Well, my friends, right now, things in Jackson aren't so good. We must come together to take our city in a new direction. One thing that we all know is that no one will come into our home to fix our problems for us. We must take the same approach with our city. We must come together to fix our city for ourselves, our families, our future, but we cannot do this alone. We must form partnerships first with each other, then with our surrounding neighbors and communities, then with the business community, then with the legislature, the state, and the federal government. Now you're talking right down my alley because I already have those relationships. I don't have to try to establish them. They already exist. I could not have been as successful, successful as I've been in my past jobs and in the legislature without the ability to build bridges and forge partnerships. And as we go forward on this day of recollection and day of hope, let us remember two abiding principles that have stood the test of time to help make this country great. The first is our strong sense to do the right thing our understanding that right is right and wrong is wrong. We must keep our moral compass focused on achieving the greatest amount of good for the greatest amount of people. The second is our faith. In the face of great economic woes and uncertainty, it is easy to give in to cynicism, to lose faith in our past and allow ourselves to let dim hope for the future creep in. We must hold on to our faith in Jackson. Some people want to write us off, but relying on our faith, we've got to show them that they are wrong. Above all else, that means that we will have to change our attitude about Jackson and then set about doing the things that will change the world's attitude about Jackson. Yeah. 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 The city of Jackson is a jewel of a city. It has tremendous assets in its people, its location, its history and culture, its natural and man-made beauty that, if left to language, will dry up and disappear. But with the right leadership in our schools, our business community, our neighborhoods, our streets, and yes, even in City Hall, we can conquer our dangers and exploit our opportunities as we take Jackson in a new direction. But I need your help. I need your prayers. I need your involvement. I want to be the next mayor of Jackson as we take our capital city in a new direction. And may God bless us all. I'd like to respond to any questions members of the media might have. Yes, ma'am.
defining factor uh, that helps you to decide to go from state government to city government? I drank the Kool-Aid and it was spiked. <laughs> uh, the, the, the deciding factor, and, and I tell folks that uh, it, it's much like a calling. Uh, I, I came to this, have come to this reluctantly, much like a person who's, who feels like he's been called to the ministry. He runs, he hides, he ducks, he dodges, but he still hears that voice in the back of his head saying, this is what I want you to do. And that voice was persistent. It wouldn't let me run. It wouldn't let me hide. And so I made the decision to do so. Any more questions? Well, we'd like to thank you all for coming out, and we are going to take this city in a new direction. Thank you so much. Yeah.